Hello and welcome to the NASCAR Legends 1987s here at Michigan, Legacy Michigan if I'm not mistaken. Uh, car is very tight. <laughs> they, after this update I just don't know how to drive this car anymore really. It was pretty uh, familiar on the road course last week but now we're back out here on the ovals and I'm like, I don't know how to drive this car anymore. It's so tight. Nick gave me a tip, he said, run the bottom, put the brake bias at 42 all the way back. And uh, he, he generally knows what he's talking about, so I'm gonna give that a go. He said bottom. So I'm, I'm wondering if he means like the actual bottom bottom or the one lane up you normally run here at Michigan. But I think maybe the best thing would be get on the seam get some extra turn in it. I don't know. We're gonna try qualifying here. I'm the number one, so it's not like I'm gonna, it's not gonna help much to try to start in the back or anything anyway, and I don't know. I'm not worried about being unpredictable, really. I mean, I, I'm gonna be careful not to hit the wall and everything. Green, green, green. Uh, okay. I just don't think I'm gonna be fast, and I think I'm gonna kill the tires, and things probably just aren't gonna be very good, to be honest with you, but uh, you know, we'll give it our best. Just glad to be here. It's the, uh... I, I guess I didn't say this yet. It's the... Oh, God. So tight. Um, it's the time slot Gavin has on Wednesdays. I worked the morning today, so that allowed me to be here, which is pretty cool. Um, the only thing cool about working in the morning, because otherwise I have to wake up. <laughs> At a time I don't like to wake up. So, you know. Silver linings. This is gonna be such a bad lap. I'm gonna. This is gonna be awful. I don't know how to drive this car at all anymore. Thirteenth, kill me. I might as well have not qualified. I just. I don't understand this car anymore. I just don't. There's no way the second lap's gonna be faster either. All the wear or the grip is gone. Nick saw my time was like, oh, actually, you're helpless. <laughs> he tried to give me that tip, and I was like, oh, <laughs> you ran a 42.6, okay. Well, I doubt it's going to help. <laughs> it's okay. I, uh, I'm going to be aboard the struggle bus, which ironically, a bus would probably be faster than I can drive this thing. So, you know, we're just going to try to save tire. I don't know, man. Gavin's fast. He's third right now. I don't know what to do with this car. I don't know what to do with my life. <laughs> Practice a pit stop, I guess. I doubt we'll get one, but just in case. Wow, I can be slow entering pit road, too. I'm just happy to be here. It'll be fun, even if I'm gonna be horribly horribly slow um hey we're right next to nick at least so 96 98 on the tires even after that little run oh. I, i'm i'm just gonna keep the brake balance where it is just gonna be slow Shane sends, uh, sends us a good luck. I'll send one right on back. Make sure I didn't miss anybody else saying that. Hey, and Joe said struggle bus too. We have the same lingo. <laughs> Down to 15. We are... Actually, we're not, we're not that far off. 42-2, 9-2 up there. I mean, that's only a couple tenths. Well, maybe if we can find a way to save tire, we'll be okay. Good thing I'm known for saving tires. Haha. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. One left to green. 
You'll be lining up on the inside. Two, oh, of pit road two sets of tires. The thing is, like, these tires, like, they don't actually get worn. It's just the car's super tight. Like, the, ti the tires get worn less than they used to, and the car is m much more understeer than it used to be. So it's, it's just weird. I haven't figured it out yet. I have to run more races to figure out what the car wants from me now. Because how I used to drive it doesn't cut it anymore. But I'm not complaining. I just got to figure it out. Maybe I'll learn stuff uh, from the guys around me. Maybe I can back it down a whole bunch and get some long run pace. Not sure what to expect, so... We will see. Got race lab up. We are 3.2k strength of field. So pretty good, especially for this series. It's nice to have a strong field here, even though I still ended up the number one. But it is what it is. Get that I rating down, it's too high. You have Go two additional sets of tires during this race. Have a good race. I didn't forget anything. Break bias is back. Should be good. I have no idea what rear spoiler does. Car number 17. I don't know if I've Leave ever even lane. noticed that option. I got no brain when it comes to car thing. So that doesn't help me. Yep, good luck. Good luck, everyone. I'm just gonna back it down, maybe try to stay in some draft at least, but not go any faster than necessary there. I guess. Second gear start it looks like. I have not eaten yet today, really, at all. So if you hear, like, a roaring in the distance, that's just my stomach. Feel free to ignore it. <laughs> I forget to eat sometimes. That's definitely healthy. But we will take a look at uh, Matthias up there. I guess that's how you would pronounce okay, it. I don't know. I'm sorry. Going green. Try to get a good, good old jump. Got that Penn's oil car. I can't see a darn thing. Get ready, car is off. Green, green, green. Good enough. Session optimal up. I want session last lap. Try to be on the seam, I guess. That's all I can really hope for. Try to use the brakes to turn. See if any <laughs> any of it works. Alright. Keeping the same pace as most guys here, it seems like. Ryan, just get the car turned with the brakes. Outside. Passing someone somehow. Still there. Clear Looks like outside. he might just be backing off or something. Probably saving tires better than me. All that turning on the entry right there is for brakes. I'm hoping that will keep my wear happy. Side by side up ahead. 
between Gavin and Shane. The uh, the new thing is to call Gavin Rob Chan, if that's how you say his name. I'm sorry. Um, instead of other Gavin, to call him Dirt Gavin because he does a lot more dirt racing. And the idea is like, oh, he's not like the inferior Gavin, he's not other Gavin, he's perfectly good, he's just Dirt Gavin. But Dirt Gavin sounds even worse to me. <laughs> that sounds insulting. I know it means Dirt Racing Gavin, but I don't know, it feels weird to call him Dirt Gavin to me. <laughs> How did I just get loose? I don't understand this car anymore, man. I just got loose on exit there. That makes absolutely no sense. I don't understand it. Well, so far so good, I guess. We've got Crew Chief ready to tell me some fuel information. Because uh, if this goes green, we will need to pit. And uh, I do want to try to remember, if I can, to increase my brake bias before I head in for green flag pit stops if we get there. Because uh, it could be a little bit scary hitting the brakes hard with 42% brake bias and I feel like I can enter more aggressively if I have it a little bit higher and safely so I might try to think about that doing okay though I think I'm doing an alright job of saving tires but it looks like pretty much everybody else is too so Big deal. Got some movement up ahead. I happen to look through some cars, but it looks like we got some side by side action. Don't like the angle I took there. A little bit shallow entry. Not so good. For speed or for a long, long run pace. I do like being in this draft. It's valuable time to keep. On the straightaways, which are long here at Michigan, of course, a two mile track. It really is going to add up if this does go green, so I'm uh, I'm content with where I am. I could be farther up the field, but I had no idea how to do a hot lap, as you saw, so is what it is there. Kind of loose on exit. Okay. I'll take that. trying to use that seam that's usually I guess that's homestead that's really useful <laughs> but it can be useful at Michigan too to get on that seam so I don't feel it too much I don't feel the effects of the seam much but you know I gotta assume it is helping the car turn a bit got too far low down there though I'm trying to straddle the seams the idea I got loose again I don't understand how it, it feels tight the whole corner and then just like for one second it's like hey did you know you're sideways and I'll be like no I didn't I didn't know that thank you but better loose than tight I guess or any more tight than it already is Not much passing going on through the field. I think we got one side by side up there, but everyone's kind of just going long pace here. I like it. Very good looking race here so far. Everyone's being patient. Good stuff. Very interested to see how this one plays out.
That felt like some good rotation. I liked how that went. I'm glad Nick said something about 42% break bias, because I was kind of nervous. Easy, boy. I was kind of nervous to put it back that far. But I heard some people saying they were going to do it. I wasn't sure. I might have, like, chickened out and put it up a little higher, but it sounds like that might be the way to go, and I'm actually pretty glad that it is all the way back now. I think this car, you can move it however you like, though. Yeah, so I could have changed it if I wanted to, but early run, you know, I would have been on the right front just a little bit more so I'm happy to have started the run in a good spot catching this guy real fast in the corner might have a little bit more grip might have to set up a pass here Got some people falling off, potentially. About 12 laps it took. Not quite there yet. Okay, Colton. That's good consistency. Keep it up. Catch back up to him. See him got loose. Tried to get around, couldn't do it. No man, we're good. Just put a crack. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Got a couple of bad corners all of a sudden, trying to set things up. Done nothing but slow me down and set me up to not be able to make a pass. Set me up for failure is what it set me up for. So let's get back into it, back into the rhythm. Get the consistent laps back. Will we get a major shift in how people have been treating the tires? Or tires not matter all too much? We'll see. Loving this green flag racing though. Don't always get that here, so I appreciate it when we can get it for sure. Guy in the wall. A little scary. Outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Going all the way to the bottom. Keep low. Clear on the okay, outside. I'm still spinning down there now Clear. too. Can't do that, I guess. They stink. <laughs> Look at all this time we just lost. Trying to make a pass. Uh, 
I don't know, man. A lot of race to go, though. <laughs> They're just driving away, though. So. Really doing me much good right now. Yeah, Nick is on the charge, it would appear. Car inside. Still there. Alright, teach me how to do it, Nick. Clear inside. I need help. <laughs> Get one to open allegedly. Not coming in for a while though. V14. Okay. Why am I loose? What is with this car, man? I don't understand it anymore. Break me to the front, man. It's unbearably tight the whole time, and now it's just going to be loose in the middle of the corner. It's just like Atlanta all over again. What's going on with this thing? Well, that sucked. Yeah, try the high line. Great idea. Lose half a second. I don't understand this car anymore. The gap in front has increased. It's now about 0 0.8. So bad. Driving harder, I guess. I've saved tires, now use them. I have no idea. Well, we're getting caught from behind by the 13. Just gonna self spin. I don't understand this car anymore. I just got wrecking loose all of a sudden, middle of the corner. V20. Damn, man. It happened to me at Atlanta earlier this season, too. I just I don't understand this car anymore. Pit lane speed limit is 55 miles per hour. Okay, Colton. Oh, man. Yeah, I suck. Three, two, one. Right here. Guess we're petting early. Oh, 
This is embarrassing. I swear this this car just drives opposite to anything I would ever expect a race car to do. I even do this time. I can't do what I did last time. Or just couldn't I could it was undrivable all of a sudden. It just slid through the corner for no reason. Your last. <laughs> Your last. Thank you, sir, for reminding me. Car inside. Come on, Colton. Pass this guy. We want the lead position. Clear inside. <sighs> Well, it doesn't have to be the end of the world. We lost a ton of time, obviously. And this is a terrible strategy, but we could catch a lucky caution. Maybe someone uh, self-spinning into the pits later. Um, and we're not the lucky dog, so... That's not great. Well, that was close. I just, I don't know anything about this car anymore, so, you know, if I tried to tell you anything earlier in this race, ignore all of it, because clearly I'm full of garbage, <laughs> and no idea what I'm talking about. Don't do anything I did, I guess. I'm just going to drive into the corner without thinking for the rest of the race. I'll probably do better. It's so not fun for me to drive now, though. Like, this car. Outside. You're reeling this car in. The gap's clear. I mean, maybe it's just because I'm bad at it, but... You know, it's just so tight. Every, every oval is just so unbearably tight. And then it just does unexpected things out of nowhere. I don't know. We're quickest right now. That last lap was at forty-three point four. Nothing makes sense in my bad. Kevin did a my bad. They must be racing hard up there or something. You're holding on to the car for dear life. I think that was the best possible outcome of all that. What do I even do? It's up to 46 or something, I guess. I clearly don't need to save the right rear. I mean, I know I slid, but it didn't do that much to where it like flipped it or anything. Like my right rear was more worn than my right front. That's just the facts. Pitting in, pitting in. The, uh, if an accident's going to happen, it's likely to happen pretty soon, so I'm really hoping we can get around Joe here and take the lucky dog from him, if he really even is the one with the lucky dog. Take the do it to him. Oh, no. Nick? Also, has pit already, I guess. Pitting in this time, pitting in this time. I don't know. I don't think time. we're going to get <laughs> lucky dog, no matter what. Ten four. And I don't, there are no wave arounds, I don't think, in this series, so. The gap in front is now 1.0 seconds. I don't know, man. I think Joe just hit the wall.
heads up as a car exit in the pits. Yeah, we got a bunch of people on our lap now. Heading. Outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Outside is clear. Well, that strategy call didn't work. What'd you do, Joe? Oh, I hit it on last 17. <laughs> 20 second place. Oh, no. My half self spin strategy is not working too great either, don't worry. Staying low, Gavin. I'm sure you're going to be faster than me. New tires. <laughs> I could ride, but I don't know. This is a salvage race at this point. Wow, this thing is so much freer, huh? Yeah, it really loosens it up when you pick two. Okay, Can I just tap the spoiler chopped off to mix it up? Two. <laughs> nice save, Lee. And then is the one... Jack, can you say your tires properly this time? Allegedly. No idea where he is on track, though. Okay, we're halfway to the finish. Adams is now in the lead. I'll pit here. It's turning, because why would it? Pit over. People on pit road. Hey, we're getting a spot for now. I don't know if we're going to keep it. That's half distance. We think about 31. Lots of fuel remaining. Really not much to talk about right now. I'm just trying to salvage and I don't even really have a plan anymore. I'm not trying to do anything with the tires. I'm just driving where it wants to go. Which who knows may be the way to do it. I'm sure we're gonna have guys on fast tires coming up eventually. so bad it's I wish it were more fun to drive still it'd be one thing if I were terrible and it was still fun to drive at least I just I'm not having much fun driving it either Shane what happened hey we're out of progress speed on the exit oh no no it's not that's not you think you're okay for fuel but there's not much to spare I got in so good speed moment Oh, there's one person we'll be able to pass, at least. Darn, please. Oh my god, I hate this car now. <laughs> I wonder if everyone else is having fun. 
I might just be a Grinch. I'm a Scrooge. I'm ruining Christmas with my negativity. Still not on the lead lap. I'd feel so much more comfortable if we made it to the lead lap, but it's looking like we're not going to get any cautions at all anyway. Should have taken four. I'm not the only one self spinning, I think. Hey, maybe we'll be able to scrounge together more than we think. We'll see. Got people coming up to pass us, though. I'm sure they're not going to have much of a tough time doing it. The car in front is Elliot. Oh boy. Sorry there. Sorry, Jane. Hmm. Still not on the lead lap. That's concerning. They're too wide behind me. That's also concerning. Hard to let someone by if they're blocking the whole track. <laughs> I don't know what lane to run if they're running all of the above. How am I going to let someone by if I can't turn? I guess it's pretty easy if I can't turn. We're good. Just made it uh, fun going into turn one the first time on two tires. Still there at the bottom. A little, a little bit of code brown there. Still inside. Clear. I think I had it under control. Those guys by go zero miles an hour. The usual. There are guys on old tires still going faster than me. Yeah, I tried to wreck it coming through three and four on the first lap. So stupid. Real cool radical wrecks. Two cars definitely make them more fun to drive now. Lot better. Sounds like I should have taken two tires. At least I'd be having fun while I'm wrecking. I was having a lot more fun that first round before I did. <laughs> Me too, guys. I was kind of making my way up. So you do it, Lee. <laughs> I gotta stop doing that. Okay, Colton, the next car is Klein. Well, we are in 18th. We are still not on the lead lap. And that. Uh, You're cracking me up, dude. It sounds like guys are having a real tough time holding on to the car, so we might still get a caution, but. I just, I, it's not going to help me much if I'm not on the lead lap. I don't know how those guys are still going. Do they, can they make it to the end? There's no way, right? Need to save so much fuel. They might just be going as long as they can. And they might be pitting in soon. Who's up in first? 14 up in first. Thank you. Oh boy.
Can't imagine this is much fun to watch either. I apologize. Sorry, Lee. You're slanging in there. Just driving like an ass. Just driving like an ass clown again. That's the new fastest lap for Adams. 42.4. Hmm. Well, we still got over 20 laps to go. I just, I really don't think those guys can make it on fuel. So I'm just really hoping they pit before we get a yellow, if we get a yellow. I really like this car to turn at some point. I guess I just got to be exhausted and half cut when I'm doing this like I worked last night. I think that might be the key. That might do it. I'm pinned in this time, seven. All right, so there's one of the leaders. Yeah, four. Would you take four or two? You should totally let me know. I take four. The eighteen. I just know some bullshit. That's good consistency. Keep it up. Seems somehow it's making me more tight, I think, now. Instead of helping the car turn. I hit the seam and all of a sudden I started turning less. <laughs> Everything is backwards in this car now. I totally meant to do that. I was doing tricks back there. Must have done a kickflip or something. So we just need the 13 to pit now, so I don't get trapped a lap down if there is a caution. So, that way, whenever he pits, and the no caution comes out, then nothing changes for me. <laughs> that sounds like what's probably going to happen. I don't even know how many people are even near each other anymore. There's so much space between people on the track, it seems like. Now is the 13 pitting. Does not seem like it. Oh, we got Gavin in the pits. Interesting. He pit on, oh, never mind. I was gonna look to see when he pit if he had pit already, but it obviously shows where he just pit. So I don't know if that's his first time pitting or what. That's interesting. We got more people on pit road. You got plenty of fuel. Why is that? Interesting. Sixteenth place. I guess two tires is the way to go. Oh, maybe they took. Uh... Yep. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know that. Yep. I don't know why they go for some people. Ahead is increasing. It's now 1.9. Yeah, I would have recommended pitting now. Lead lap coming up. I'd rather have four, but for me, it's not worth the extra 10 seconds of pit stop on.
So at least we can feel comfortable. Yeah, I'm feeling the same way. Well, we're in 16th now, I guess. It's slightly less terrible. Are we catching this 23? I think we might be. Jack, I don't know why. He has eight lap newer tires. You know, I learned my lesson there. And you helped me remind myself. I took two. Oh, the car is just plowing. At least it's not wrecking loose this time. But it's really not much better in terms of speed, I don't think. I, I mean, I don't know anything. I know nothing. Looky there, got another person on pit road. It's happening. I don't know. Been on the front stretch, been on the front stretch. Ooh, we got a caution happening. I mean, I'm not going to be fast on a short run anyway. You saw my qualifying time, so even if we get a uh, Keep it down caution, <laughs> it won't matter. I'm still going to be terrible. I'll probably lose more no, spots. No, come up on track. Come up on track into me and kill me. And my suffering. <laughs> the gap to climb ahead is now 1.7 seconds. Well, uh... I did the same thing you did, Gavin. Yeah, let's do this. Guess those two tires... I know, I'm kicking myself so hard over here, it's so bad. I mean, freaking... I didn't think I did anything different. This car just shoved for me. No reason to hit the wall. That bit of the wall. Safer barrier. That stinks. Hate to see it. Well, mine didn't well, shove. I got loose and corrected straight into the wall and then spun on pit road. You just done mm. a Yeah, mine was the complete opposite of what you did. The car just it stopped her and went straight to the correct. Somehow back up to 14th. I took eternity from the car to get straight again. That was good right there, Steve. Can I enjoy that? Hey, it's like that. Let's we'll see if we get any more surprise spots. The guy ahead is pulling away yeah. again, I think. I didn't. I wasn't trying to race it that hard, but that was my bad. Your lap time was at 44.7. I see you coming, Dirt Gavin. What do you want, high or low? <laughs> Dirt Gavin. See, doesn't that sound bad? I don't know. I'm the only person I think that I've seen say that. <laughs> Everyone else seems like, oh yeah, he's Dirt Gavin. <laughs> like, that sounds like an insult. You know, it's Dirty Gavin. <laughs> like, what? I don't know. For real though, like, he's a really nice guy. I, we were in a race with him at a Watkins Glen. And I watched his upload of the event. He's so nice to everybody. <laughs> He's a very nice guy. That's why I don't want to call him Dirt Gavin, because it doesn't sound nice. Nice day, Gavin. Well, 10 to go. There are no green white checkers in this series either. You might recall, so. Not much more time to get that. 
caution if we need to, if we want to actually get one. Thank you. Nick must be in 8, 9th, or 10th unless something bad happened that I didn't notice. See, he's in the blind spot between the standings and the relative for me. The leader is five seconds behind. Are we going to get lapped again? This time just by being horribly, horribly slow? Stay tuned to find out. Absolutely plowing. Tried something a little different this corner. And I hit the wall. Nice job. Killer. Radical. Groovy. There's some other outdated terms I can use. <laughs> that was the bomb. I would like this race to be over now, please. I think I am going to go to Lion's Choice after this race, because I need something to help me feel better. Lion's Choice, being a local fast food restaurant in the St. Louis area. This is so boring that I'm just basically reading Wikipedia entries right now. <laughs> Not literally, but... Sells roast beef sandwiches. Apparently have a special right now because it's like their 55th year anniversary or something. I don't know. Can you tell I'm not paying attention to my driving anymore? This is like reminiscent of that Xfinity race at Homestead I did that was not fun. Like the car just won't drive. It's unbelievably tight. I'm not even in contention at all. There's no one around me. I'm hungry. <laughs> Well, I guess maybe I should have uh, taken two tires, maybe? No way, never mind. I just remembered how loose I was. I would have self-spun, not even just when I got on the track, just on pit exit I would have self-spun. I can almost guarantee you. Car is just undrivable now. Just tightest thing you've ever driven. Close enough, I might have to let him go here. Car Never mind the inside. fact it won't turn. Clear inside, inside, clear inside. <laughs> so bad. So bad, man. At least we're still in lucky dog position for now. Oh, the race would be over if a caution came out, so never mind. Hi, Shane. Hi, Shane. Go on then, take your position. Clear inside. Oh my god. Not turning at all. Landon might come up and pass us still. You've got two laps to go. Even after he uh, sat around in the infield grass for about an hour, he's still gonna probably pass us. It's so hard to describe how bad this is to drive. 
I wonder if, like, if they changed how they did the setups, like, maybe this update wouldn't be so bad. Like, maybe it's just the setups aren't up to date with how the car drives now. So you could maybe theoretically set the car up and it won't be so tight, and it'll drive like a real life race car. I don't know. Gavin is bored and swerving around. He's gonna race Shay, and just because he wants to have some sort of fun, I understand. 21st is mine, Shane. Not if I could help without nothing here, Jordan. Are they gonna wreck each other? <laughs> For 21st. Look at him go! Win, what a finish! Wowzers! Yeah, good win, Jackson. It's left to learn. We say two tires and out four. There we go. Sorry about. Bring it back round. Chicken flag. Chicken flag. Good win. Good, good race. Good win. That was fun. Bring it back to the pits. We're going. It was. Thank you guys. Good race with you guys. Go win. Good race in there, 16. I enjoyed that battle. Oh, yeah, it was a good. It was a good yeah, race because it was caution Jackson. free. I think we just took two minutes there out there together. I think we were there all right. Yeah, we were neck and neck the whole time. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, man. I appreciate the uh, clean drive in there. <sighs> we uh, get to be in both Gavin and Nick's videos at the end like three or four times to bounce on the wall. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, the over. Bring I'm going to tear up the right side of this car because I'm mad at it. Just like I did at it uh, in the Xfinity race. And that's the most fun I had today. All right. <laughs> I I just don't understand the car anymore. I think it's pretty simple. First car lab down. <laughs> yeah, the 14. He, he killed it, man. He got the two tire call. I'm just completely lost with how to drive this car anymore. You've heard me say it, though. I just, I don't need to repeat it anymore. I just don't know. Yeah, it was a good race. Caution free. I mean, I guess I didn't do so bad. I went up a spot. Got that blazing speed. So, we're going to have a lot of wall hits. I think that's probably about it. We're not going to see much more than that. There's this dingleberry. I just... It was racking loose all of a sudden. Going through the corner like I was normally. It was just sliding at this point. You can't even really tell. But like right here, it's not it's not connected to the ground anymore, essentially. You can see I'm turning right right now. I'm turning that much to the right. The car just doesn't make sense to me, man. We are racing alien technology. They work under a different set of physics. Okay, I'm having trouble having to chase it up. Oh, bounces it off into the pits. That's what he's talking about. Spoilers for his video, but he was talking about it already too. Is this what happened to Landon? No, that is a blink. 20 was having trouble with the wall, it sounds like.
Well, that looked pretty familiar. That looked like what Gavin did. Reminder, he finished four seconds behind me. <laughs> Just a mere four seconds. Only four. It was a caution-free race. There was never any cautions to catch up. I am so slow that with how long it took him to get this thing back rolling again, he finished right behind me. That tells you that he is fast, and I am not. <laughs> so he's just blinking some more. I'm going to assume that's what's happening. What did I do this time? Yep. That's familiar. Yeah, a whole lot of people struggling. And the race is over. Bit of a grass there. For one final spill. And this guy's messing around. So, we get P14. Uh. It is what it is, I guess. I don't know. I got wrecking loose the first run, and then I just decided I wasn't going to save tires anymore, and then it got mega tight. So, it's exactly what happened to me at uh, Atlanta earlier this season. I just don't, I can't balance the tires anymore. I don't know what the car wants from me, but... I hope that was at least enjoyable in a laugh at the train wreck type way. And, uh, I will see you next time, where hopefully I remember how to drive. <laughs> see you there.